Luffy and this shit king of the rappers. Hey, the happy bitch. Halloween, gang. It's Marauder Music with Three Piece TCG, Big Beard TCG, and 2D. I'm coming at you with the Monkey D. Luffy uh oh nine son now uh i was thinking how can we make it a little spooky right and i said well uh let's try out let's try out this malak luffy i had it save this plaque luffy and uh you know get a little spooky with gecko moria on it <clears throat> and i had this frankenstein of a build going between um basically the black luffy list which was predominantly navy and and trying to make this work since he does give everybody plus one cost and you know just just try something out that proved to be a little too spooky i wouldn't recommend anybody going that route just yet just yet so here is what we have arrived we still keep a little spookiness to it uh so yeah do smash that like button finger pop that subscribe turn on the bell and go down in the comments let me know what am i doing right what am i doing wrong what would you be doing differently now enough of the silly business let's get into the crux of it all okay so this list is very like straight forward i feel like and it's another one of those lists where we're just, we have an agenda, we're setting out to accomplish, and we're doing it at all costs, right? Now, uh, I will say this, you're gonna see some starter 18 representation between these two, and I really did think about throwing Luffy Taro in the mix. Uh, when, when doing so, um, I just found it to be, you gotta understand that we're already only running four, eight, uh, 2Ks, right? And uh, we're running some gum gum gatlings to mitigate some of the other ones that have, you know, zero, 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 uh, well, yeah, to mitigate the other bricks, right? Now, the other mitigation that's happening in this deck naturally is we do see so many more cards uh, with this with this deck. So we're drawing cards, we're drawing cards, we're drawing cards, we're drawing cards. Uh, that whole we're drawing cards we're drawing cards you know what i mean that old chestnut uh but what we really like to do in this thing is what else with purple ramp early ramp often and then play out the big boys um now i was talking in comments and i heard that you know uh homeboy uh let's see sanji sanji should be thrown in the in the, in the mix and I don't disagree with Sanji's value whatsoever. And because this Luffy does operate just like uh, Black Luffy, you could go second on your sixth on turn, so your turn three, uh, you could play him out and pop anything that they played previously, right? And that's cool. That is dope. Uh, what I found, again, another card, another brick that is attempting to solve problems right and we're trying to make problems with this deck as well this is another deck where we're trying to go uh we're trying to go up and down we're trying to search a lot we're trying to go wide we're fearlessly blocking and or trashing frankie and uh law we're countering out with these two because guess what we're playing them we're countering uh we can't counter but this is used for gum gum gatling or if it's turned sideways and they get rid of it cool because we can bring it back with gecko you know so that that's where the value in this deck i believe comes from also when we ramp playing sanji out on our turn three uh is great we can turn somebody sideways swing two over them and they're out of there. It almost operates just like uh, just like Pauly did, with the exception of obviously not ramping us up to ten. But it's giving us an active dawn, so that afterwards we have one left over for Gum Gum uh, Giant Giant Giant, or we can just swing one extra. So the deck has been working really well. I think the one thing that I would change out would possibly be a Black Maria, just to get maybe another two K that uh you know maybe the maybe the blocker 2k or you know whatever just to have something that's more searchable because when if and when we do play monkey d luffy uh we're usually closing out the game more so than we are you know ramping all the way back up so anyhow with all that being said this is like the most fun i've had uh this is the most fun of a list and of an archetype i've had 
since playing Usopp, and Usopp was the most fun I had since playing, you know, Black Purple Luffy. I love Purple Luffy, I love Red Purple Luffy, but this is, there's just so much going on with this, and it's like you create your own, like, little Dawn economy, and you draw so many fucking cards, and I think once Gum Gum Giant uh, becomes legal, and I'm able to play that in Purple Luffy, I might feel the same over there as well, because Lord knows we draw some cards over there. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get into some matches, shall we? All right, we got Mr. Hype himself, you know, Smoker. We're choosing to go second because we definitely want to take them off curb. And we were mulliganing that because, well, fuck, I don't know why. I mean, I guess we were looking for our Bond Clay or, or excuse me, our other one. But it's cool. We play them out. And for the rest of the game, until they get rid of this card, if we minus a Dawn, which we will, we get plus 1K on our leader to swing with. Uh, we take that first hit, and now we're going to go ahead and play out Frankie. Now, this is going to give us plus one active and plus one... Uh, actually, we get... Yeah, 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 yeah. We rank, we ramp back up two, and that's that. We're going to swing seven. <coughs> Perfect swing over him. I keep thinking... I thought he was the ramper one. That's why I was like, two active Don? No, just one. Uh, cool, so now we got a blocker established, and we're more than okay with him getting KO'd for the simple fact that when Gecko comes, we're going to be playing them out of trash. Uh, so anyhow, we got a little field, they're at 5 Dawn, we are waiting to see what they are going to do. What are they cooking up for us? We know they got a lot of tools, and damn, they already got a lot of cards. Shit, well they already got 8 cards? God blah. Alright, so what's he got? What's he got? Going to Ice Age the Frankie. Play out Brooke, and that's that, and that's final. Okay, cool. Uh, this is the this is the game where I did have Sanji, so I take back everything I just said. <laughs> and uh, we play out Sanji, get rid of that Brooke, and now we're gonna swing uh, six into lead. What do they got for that? Counter. Still thinking. Not quite sure. They're gonna take it. All right, they're gonna take it. Uh, and, uh, let's see. So now, uh, attaching one, they got six Dawn up. They are gonna get rid of Sanji just like that. Sanji, we hardly knew you. Get rid of a Kobe for that. Uh, okay, and I misread, I misread that shit so bad. Okay, so we're going down to Dawn, and then we're gonna ramp right back up. Uh, what am I gonna trash? I trash the ramp, Zoro, because I'm just like, man, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about any of it. And then, am I going to play that or am I going to play a Songoro? What are we thinking about, gang? So I'm going to play that out. And I think I'm going to grab that 7-drop Sanji. Right? Sanji still got to counter. Yeah, and Sanji can rush. Okay, so now we're going to swing 7. 7 to face. And we've got a board of two fives. actually. I was going to say two fours, but two fives. I forget uh, adding the Dawn to my leader raises everybody's cost, and that makes people so much more sticky. That means if I did play out Songoro and I had one attached, he could not pop it simply with a Sakazuki, and it would really take some uh, maneuvering on their end. So uh, let's see what they got for me now. So what are we at? If I'm on evens, then they're probably on nine by now. Yeah, and they play out a uh, big E show. It ain't an E show to them. Uh, I'm going to give them 2k. They're going to swing 7. I'm going to probably take that. I take it? Yeah, we take it. I was going to say, I don't want to lose the blocker like that. We already have a Frankie in trash. So, um, with this Sanji, I think what? No, I can play this out and we can just rush the Boots house down. And uh, there we go. We're going to get a plus 1 and then a plus 1 and stuff like that. Uh, Beppo was also in the this list, obviously. I'm swinging two over there, so I am getting rid of Sakazuki, which is lit. Now I'm going to swing uh, six and seven, I guess. Let's see what goes on with that. Okay, cool. And do I swing Uno Mas Tiempo? Yeah, let's swing seven there. Five cards in hand. They run some no counter. Don't let them fool you. Okay, so we got one Gum Gum Giant up, and we're not feeling too bad. We got a blocker. We got Gum Gum Giant. We got uh, giant fodder right there. They get rid of my blocker. And now I am, yeah, definitely going to do the gum gum giant. Let's get rid of Sanji. We're going to draw two cards. I get two duds, so I have to give up Songoro. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. God bless. <laughs> 
the fucking messages that are going to be coming in. I got to fucking edit out these damn ass matches messages. Okay. So for that, Oh, I got to let go of Sanji. That was unfortunately wise on their part. So I think playing this out and giving me an opportunity to, uh, draw a card is going to be pivotal. And I take another gum gum Gatling. Uh, what else shall we do? Uh, so I can swing. I got, I got, no, we're trying to go after Isho. I don't know about that Isho, dog. I don't know about that. I think going into face might have to be the move. And then we just hope to survive. So we swing seven. That's a little low for three cards, but we're swinging seven. I mean, I don't have much choice. I only have three Dawn after this. And I need to uh, put one in my leader. So we're going to look at seven and eight. Now, if they can't block this out, they're 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 in trouble if I make it out of this round. So I'm putting them in a place where they have to go for lethal. Yeah, now they have to go for lethal, uh, and they should be able to pull it off if I don't have two gum gum gatlings. But guess what? I got two gum gum gatlings, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Man, all right. Let's see. They can still two shot me, and that's straight up gum gum gatling that's just a straight gum gum gatling that's you should have swung nine in my opinion but whatever uh we'll see what their what their big plan is so yeah i'm thinking about it i'm doing the math in my head i'm like oh, oh fuck okay so we go down two go up to nine draw two cards and we're happy with our picks um nothing we're trying to establish though okay so now they're in a position where they've got a good amount of dawn here they really do uh but for them in order for them to swing seven at me they can swing seven twice uh it looks like eight and seven actually okay cool i take this one and i see that the next one is going to be another eight so they're actually going to swing eight and eight but i drew in the two two k's and that is done son that is it and uh yeah, you know, uh, you get them to a place where they have to go for game. And if you look at that, if you look at that life right there, or if you look at their hand, they have late game. You have to recognize that these uh, Malak decks, the BBCs, best black cards, they will go late game with you and they won't give a fuck. They have no conscience about doing it. They make no bones about it. Uh, so what you want to do is present them with an opportunity they just can't deny. They, they an offer they can't refuse, if you will. Uh, so that they have to swing at you, and then you just you can clean them up when you when you've got all the cards you need. Anyhow, so a little hockey action. Let's get on the next. We're going up against the Boa Hancock, the baby mama. Got a little baby mama drama, and we're going first. I don't think we mulliganed, did we? Yeah, I don't think we did. Hang on. Yeah, we kept it. We kept it because we have, uh, we already have a ramper, and I think we're gonna go for Frankie. Yeah, I go for Frankie, and so next turn we're gonna play Zoro Joro, and we're just gonna keep it moving after that. So from Zoro Joro, we'll gain one, and then we can do a little fun stuff too. So we're gonna swing five at them, see what we can get. Of course, they feel like they always counter. Yeah, they're always gonna counter. We play that out. And now we know because of this card, they have what they want. We know they got what they want. Uh, we got to take that first one. Oh, big ramp city. Ramp city, bitch. We're at six, Don. I can swing with Zoro Joro for free. Go to seven and then play out Sanji. Turn somebody sideways and swing twice into him. And that's exactly what I think I'm about to do, Jack. I was going to go ahead and swing with Zoro with a Don attached, but I don't need to give him no more cards. So let's do it just like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're turning this card sideways because this card gives them perpetual value. He's there, uh, Como se dice. I'm swinging that so that hopefully he'll put that in my trash for me. But we don't want them to be able to cycle through their hand. So we're going to swing seven. Cool. Now we're going to swing six. They take because they wanted some cards. Awesome. Uh, they're still at five cards right now after drawing a card. So if they put anything back, their leader ability will proc. Now, uh, they get rid of Zoro Joro. That's a free blocker. We like that. And, uh, okay. I'm thinking we're going to oh, we take. Okay. So check this out too, guys. 
the uh, Warlord package in general is all about going wide and controlling, okay? And right now, we're about to establish more board control than them, okay? So I'm thinking about what I want to do with my life. Uh, what's new? I swing seven into there. They actually block out. I'm like, all right, cool. Now I'm going to play out this blocker. I can get rid of, rid of one of those. I'm talking too, too damn fast. And uh, now we got get two geckos in hand. Two geckos in hand. I decide to go ahead and swing seven in there. That gets rid of it. And now I can grab the nine drop Luffy. The big loof. Not the biggest of the loofs, but a pretty big loof. And they just send that shit right back to my hand. Uh, this is a simple uh, gum gum gatling uh, somebody. And I think I got rid of, yeah, I got rid of one of my Frankies in trash. So I can set that up for uh, Gecko next play. So got to be thinking about that. Think ahead. Now, I choose to do this again with another Frankie. Hey, go back. I choose to do this with another Frankie because I just don't want to go down to one life. Uh, and with this, we are ready to roll. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and play my first Gecko. I'm a Gecko into Frankie. And I don't have anything else because they did not swing at law. I go down two. I go up, you know, one active, sexually active Don, one not. I get a 3K encounter for my trouble. I'm going to go ahead and swing nine into that uh, Josu and try to get him out of here and see if we can. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting and masturbating. Uh. Now I'm going to just swing five and six on Fox 26. They ain't got no damn ass cards, so they might take both of these. Let's see. They do. I thought they were going to block out that last one because they do got two. Now, look, they do got two big swingers. They do got two big sevens. They gum gum giant, excuse me, they red rock my uh, gecko to the bottom of the map, the bottom of the deck. And now they're going to play out a Boa Hancock, which is probably, you know, gum gum into a four six blockers that sets you up. It's pretty fucking nuts. I give them Maria promptly. Now they're going to go ahead and got they got two seven swings. Are they going to be swinging to my board or are they going to be swinging to face? They're trying to get me the F out of here. I block one with Frankie and uh, I think I'll be taking this next one straight up. Or, or, yeah, we're going to stay a little healthy. So what are we going to get rid of though? That's the question. We get rid of Sanji. We draw 1K encounter. Okay, not the best. Uh, yeah. So we know that we want a gecko again for sure. Yeah, I, I, I'm almost second guessing keeping that uh, nine drop Luffy over the Sanji just because I just want pure counter and whatnot. But so we're gonna swing six and then seven and then seven and see what they got for me. They do still have a blocker. We gotta remember that. Okay, now we play him out. We get the uh, guy, and yeah, now we get to do a little bit of everything. We choose to do his ability first so that we can draw into a card we can get rid of. <laughs> now we're definitely going to be able to get rid of Zoro Joro. We draw two cards, and look at that health. This is why this deck, in my opinion, can run as low as eight 2Ks and get away with it. Uh, now we swing seven, just completely ignoring their field. Okay. And we don't have a gum gum giant and we did pass on a gum gum giant which is a little gum gum dumb on my de in, in, in my department uh but i'm feeling good and i guess i'm feeling a lot better than they are because they go ahead and disconnect i guess they just didn't have anything and um oh ho, ho, that's what happened i remember yeah so anyways what happened was uh they did they played off the wall law and they thought they could put somebody back they thought they could put this back and then swing big three times four times however many times uh but that wasn't working out for him because homeboy's a five not a four lesson to be learned uh next okay match. so boa didn't do it surely uh, homeboy will now they choose to go first Dofi chooses to go first and we know what time we know what they're going for all right but that's cool because I got two of my searchers now by this time my list has changed and I'm no longer running the Sanjis okay so this is a uh, this is really good for us because it's good experience we're gonna go ahead and take the ramp Zoro and man, I would love to grab a Gecko, but we run, we grab a, a Zanji instead. Now, that was Gecko 2 and 3 in that search. So that means we are on our Gecko own at this point. Uh, they're going to go ahead and swing 7 into us. We got to take. 
and it is what it is all right so now we're gonna go ahead definitely looking into ramping for sure and uh we go down down up up left right you got it um if we could ramp again that would be amazing but that's not how it works jack so i'm gonna go ahead and swing uh eight swing eight swing eight in that thing go ahead i'm thinking about it you can tell i'm thinking about it yeah swing eight get him out of here so we swing eight into there and they get rid of them they're not, they don't have two two k's in hand or they don't feel like doing it anyhow uh so now they're going ahead and they're drawn they're at five dawn they can use ability again they got they can summon and i think they can use ability again because of uh teach which is why i don't understand why people hate on teach instead they're going to go ahead and filter their hand now with this i can just give them a 2k and i think that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do yeah 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 we're gonna give them a 2k uh and so now we're getting a straight five swing okay so we're gonna just put that in the trash for gecko and i'm assuming he's got a jimbe doesn't have a jimbe but puts a jimbe back okay all right uh so now we're gonna go ahead and um yeah 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 well what i'm trying to figure out is can i ramp with zoro and play sanji in the same turn and i realize that i can't so i'm gonna go ahead and turn that sideways turn that sideways turn it sideways there we go and uh now i'm thinking about life uh we know that this is priority number one so we're swinging into this once and then we're going to swing into it again they don't take it cool now we're going to swing six here and if he couldn't protect that he's probably going to let that go and now i'm going to swing seven at face so they got four cards in hand uh we have the field they do not have the field and we're going into gecko turn next and okay so they get a jinbei boa boa setting up their uh next play which is going to be a swing for eight if i'm not mistaken i wonder why they want to swing more than that so they do that jinbei gets up and jinbei doesn't play anything okay so it's wild to see a uh dofster not be as consistent as us um but so right now they got the field and right now i'm also thinking hey yo if this wasn't sim i could yeah yeah see i'm like yo what the fuck i could play this into this and then you know uh play this law out but the sim doesn't let you play like that any hoot uh so we've got we want to get rid of this and then we want to just swing in the face we don't have a giant but we'd like to pretend we do so i swing six there what am i gonna get i get a 2k for it okay swing another six fuck it we don't need a gun we don't need a front with a guy with a, with a guy in. new term guy in, huh? swinging six there what you got for me you can do a little bow of hancock and give me a 1k but then i'm gonna swing into that hancock okay so they choose to take a card back uh yeah okay so they choose to do that and i believe who they take back is the uh yeah whatever we still get rid of them Okay, so now it's their turn. Uh, they're going into nine dawn and uh, swinging seven at face. They're not playing with us whatsoever. Uh, I can gum gum Gatling into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so that's cool. We get out of that. Now they're swinging eight. This is no doubt going to be a uh, block, a big city block, because we don't want to go down to one life against this guy. So we do block out and uh let's see what else they got for us they're gonna swing eight again now this is getting crazy sauce because we do have some swingers here and we also have big old loof the biggest so let's see what we got for him okay so i'm thinking we can swing sanji first or we can clean up field and then set up shop again so there's a couple different ways we can play it and i decide to set, set up shop uno mas tiempo uh, now i got two gum gum giants i'm sitting pretty and i've got a lot of money to spend let me tell you uh because okay so we're gonna swing there okay so we're gonna clean up this board we realized they got three cards in hand get them the fuck out of here okay so yeah we do that am i even gonna get rid of them even you toto your little dog too uh i play him out and now i gotta search yo and i just get a 2k for funsies i swing six and it's like what do you want to do now jack 
what do you want to do now? And uh, this game is all but sold the F up, dude. Like, he needed everybody to stick, and he needed me to not have my hand. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's funny how this deck, you know, purple is ramp, rush down, going wide, you know, hitting them with that girth, giving them that pressure. And black is all about control. And it's so funny how, like, just with this being a predominantly purple deck, but that black element, it just automatically, just for no reason, just have control. Now, this is a spicy little pick right here, this guy right here. But uh, every every Dofi's trying out some new spice. Uh, I go straight into Gat. Like, I'm not playing with nothing or no one. And uh, we're down to eight. I decide to trash nine calls Luffy. Because at this point, I'm going to just swing with everybody and then play 10 drop. Because you ain't got no cards. You don't have any cards. So I'm trying not to telegraph it. Uh, I also kind of don't have to uh, play that. So I'm going to go ahead and go seven. I would have gone Luffy. Looking back, I would have gone Luffy. I would have swung with everybody and then went Luffy. But anyways, we're just going to poke them all the way down. And that's that. That's the game. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they didn't have it. I mean, I was coming down, so I'm already at seven. Uh, I could have, you know, swung seven again. Then I could have swung nine and, uh, well, the eight and nine, or, or left him up as a blocker and just swung eight, so swung uh, seven, eight, and nine. You know, I, I, I had a lot going on, going for me, so we'll put it like that. Uh, but And then, of course, that would have given me an act of dawn for my gum gum giant. Just control, control, control. Uh, anyways, with that being said, we just got the Dofster down. Let's see if we can find somebody else. All right. I was, uh, man, I was having that difficulty finding your meta. And it was one of those things where I keep refreshing and it stays at fucking two people. And this is one of those two. And I said, you know what? Let's see what they're cooking up in 09 with uh, my boy Kaido. Let's see what's going on. So uh, it seems like they chose second because I think I would have. Yeah, they chose second because I would have chose second if they didn't. And uh, I'm happy with this because um, I'm gonna. I don't have a. I don't have a searcher, but I do have Zoro Juro and Roanor Zoro on turn one, so I can figure out just exactly what I want to do with my life. And uh, I decided to do that. Um, I would have rather gone Zoro Joro actually, because Zoro Joro would uh, ramp me one, and then I could play Roanor Zoro, and then I can play the Zoro Joro, and you hit the Zoro trifecta, and it can be done. It can be done. All right, so I'm like, yo, they're going about this already. They're already doing it, and they're hitting me with the boo 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 and swing seven. Holy moly, they just got rid of two. It's their second turn, and they just got rid of fucking two life. And I'm like, yo, I need a blocker stat. Uh, draw one, draw one. And uh, we're just going to go six and seven. Send them to heaven. Because we're going to put some pressure back on them. Now, I swung six. They gave me a 2K. I swing seven. What they going to give me? They're going to give me a life, and that's right. Uh, so now we got... Ooh, we got Captain Kid. And you can guess what's happening next. Beep, 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 beep. Another law goes to the trash. Uh, yeah, buddy. I'm going to have to give you a 2K. And I'm surprised they give him Uso Hachi. I would have rather given him Black Maria. Uh, but okay. So at this rate, uh, what do I got? I got a Zoro Juro in the trash. I got Draw City, dog. I'm drawing two cards here. And uh, can I draw that? I can't draw that. I can't draw that, right? Yeah, I wasn't able to. So now uh, with the Zoro Juro, I go ahead and take a Sanji since I already got two Frankies. Swing five. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to give me a card, damn it. Okay, we're going to swing another five. And it's obvious that this uh, player is going for this gimmick. And uh, it almost works. It, it looks like it's working. You know what I mean? I feel like on a, on a lesser foe, it would work. But I'm ready for all the smoke. And they are getting rid of my last life jack. Uh, swing a nine. Okay. Well... I got Frankie for that. Yeah. All right. So now we are big set. We are set the F up. And uh, I'm part of me is thinking I can big loof. The other part of me is thinking, yo, let's do big Frankies. Let's do two Frankies. Frankie over here. Frankie over law. 
butter them up a little bit you know what i'm saying see if what we get from the draw we hold on to one for gum gum giant you know see what happens take them out for a nice seafood dinner no 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 you know have some chicken sex you know see what happens uh swinging nine it looks like i'm gotten them i've got them down now i'm gonna do this and you know what's up you already know what's up look at that Look at the hand size. Look at the amount of counter. Look at the amount of dawn up. Uh, I can go ahead and play another one if I want. And then swing seven. I mean, the control. I can, yeah, I could even play that and find another one if I wanted. But uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. And I wonder why I'm keeping five up. Oh, that's right, because I can only use the Frankie ability once. So now we're going to go ahead and just play out another Frankie, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that Frankie out there, Jack. And they're not at 10 Don, so let me tell you one thing they can't do is the big Kaido play. So they go ahead and set up. Ooh, that hurt. They got rid of two 2Ks. Uh, and now they can swing. They can swing seven twice. Or they can swing eight once. Yeah, you better swing with something, dog. Uh, I'm going to, at this rate, I think I would go ahead and give a blocker. I don't know if I'd let that go, but I can and then go in there with... Oh, we decided to do that and then draw more cards. So we can get rid of Zoro Juro. We're not using him for nothing. Oh, we get rid of Luffy. Okay. Uh, and at this rate, they got two blockers, five cards in hand, one life. I'm going to just swing for the fences. I'm going to swing with everything, and then I'm a big Luffy. So, and I'm trying not to telegraph it, and I kind of did already with that. I kind of let them know what's going to come. But it don't matter. So now we're just going to swing five, five. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. And that would have been it because, I mean, you know, what, what were they going to do? What were they going to do? I was going to uh, swing uh, another nine and then play uh, Loof out. Loof was going to give me one. I was going to swing six. And then, you know, uh, the next turn, just clap them up. So that would have been that. But it was a, it's, a, it's a crazy gimmick, and if you're not ready for it, it can fuck you. Let's go to the last one. All right, we got the Dofi Dofster. Okay, they chose to go second. I am going first, and I think I'm going to keep this hand. I think I like this hand. I like that. Okay, no searcher, no problem. We got Zoro Joro. I think we might hit the trifecta. I think we might hit it this game. Okay, so let's play this Zoro Joro out. Okay, watch this right here. Playing Zoro Joro out. Dope. Now, uh, they got four Don, how they want to play it, what they want to do with their life. They're going to swing seven. They're going to establish some kind of chump blocker. What's going on? They swing seven at me. I'm going to go ahead and take it. Yeah, we take that. Okay, they don't do nothing else. They keep the other two Don up. Fine with me. Okay, so now I'm thinking, well, wait. If I attach a Don, can I this, can I that? And I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I think that I actually could have attached a Don, but I'm no mathematician. Let's just go ahead and get it to six. Cool. And now with uh, we swing a five again. No, no, no. Wait, let's not do that. Let's play out Zoro Joro. Excuse me, Roanor Zoro. Go down two, gain one, gain one. And that kind of makes me, that makes me wonder. I think I could have swung five. Chat, comment down below if I could have swung five. Chat, let's go chat. All right, so now I'm swinging six. And brr, yeah, okay. And then I play this out. And then I get the search. And am I going to search for a big loof? What am I doing? What am I doing myself? What am I doing myself? I think I do go for big loof because those are the only two I'm going to see. And I already got everything else represented here. So, yo, I hit the Zoro trifecta. You've seen it here first. You've never seen that before, ever. Okay, so we're going to take that. We're down to two life. We're at fucking nine dawn. Baby is gone. And uh, now we're at 10. Yo. But the gecko has no value. The gecko play has zilch for value. We're going to go ahead and swing seven. I think we're going for a Sanji play here. Even though Big Loof could be established and that could be dope. I think we're going for Sanji. Sanji gives us more uh, wiggle room with Don. And right now, we're just trying to poke him down. Yeah, we're definitely going for Sanji at this point. I wish we would have swung six, six, and then, you know, and then seven. 
but we're gonna see what's up here. Okay, so now I can swing another six. <laughs> and look at my guy, dog. He's got like all the counter in the world. He's just countering out. I think he's gonna take that one though. And after this, the game's over. The game is done. Like, it's done, son. I don't even need to think next round. I just play I play big loof. And then they give me the big scoop. Now, this is funny right here. So I'm gonna swing with Sanji, right? You played that sugar out. Cool. I'm gonna swing with Sanji for seven. See what you want to do with your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, counter out. Now I'm gonna play big loof. And you can turn Luffy sideways. I don't give a shit. I can't do nothing with him this turn anyways. Beep, 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 beep. And then they turn that sideways. And then Sugar goes sideways. We go up. I can swing into Sugar, but I'm swinging six, dog. I'm trying to get him the F out of here. Let's get him out of here. Yeah, do that first. Holy crap. Uh, so now we swing six. And do they got it? Yo, this game's over. Yeah, cook. Cook. Cook it to uh man that was pretty fast that was a pretty fast game let's see what was that trash looking like they didn't have what am i talking about they're not they're not even a black deck uh so yeah man with that let's bring it over to the gist of the list dude my last life was a gum gum gatling like or, or oh a, a gatling still still let's bring it over to the gist of the list gang all right well there you have it there you got to see it uh this is my boys i'm really liking my boys and uh you can see in other matches in the bully beatdown i went against shanks and you know i kind of sought out the meta and this one i was just having fun and, and and trying to play whoever i could and and you know playing against playing meta all the time can get a little like monotonous and playing against the meta all the time when you've got some really cool builds from other people that you know playing against the meta all the time can get monotonous as well so it was fun to get out here and just have a spooky little time uh with the gang and uh so far now this is by my choice and my play style i understand but i do know that this is the most underutilized card in these games as i was watching them back with y'all uh, just never used it just never used it so it makes me wonder could i perhaps sub that out for some luffy taros in place because taro would play into this and this and this is also one of the most underutilized cards in this deck so that makes me wonder do i want to get rid of that and throw another set of 12 of this because if we're not even fucking playing it you see what i'm saying so i think this card is great because of gecko and it's just the best fucking second turn card to play um this card is great this is a great card and we do ramp fast enough to get to it i think that i could sub these out i could get rid of these i could do this right now and then i think i my next list that i would like to experiment with would be to take those out and um i think i do want three or th at least three maybe four of those and uh you know maybe we go down one luffy taro since we have so many turns to see him and we do see extra cards in frankie and law so that could be it don't forget we can luffy taro into frankie but that would be minusing i think we would we would probably we would still minus one dawn yeah i think yeah, because because Frankie would give us the same dawn back. But anyhow, uh, this would be the list that I like to mess with next. And actually, I see this being a lot more consistent and a lot more abusive of this. And I didn't change anything. I didn't change any ratios. So I think this is going to be the list I make, uh, make a video on next. You guys, uh, comment down below. You know, don't forget to smash that like button, finger pop that subscribe, turn on the bell, and go down in them comments. Let me know what am I doing right, what am I doing wrong, what would you be doing differently. And happy Halloween skis. Happy Halloween, gang. Everybody go and uh, get into some trouble. See how much trouble you can get into, you know? But for myself, uh, Murata Music, Three Piece TCG, and Big Beard TCG, I wish y'all a happy Halloween. And I hope you have a great time. 
And thank you so much for hanging out with your boy whenever you get around to doing this. This has been uh, the fucking real life Luffy. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Flows like a faucet, swag dripping like a faucet, Dooney fixing. Got Luffy ambition, king of the rappers, the mission. I see they got the lights, camera, but no action. They actually fiction.